How's it going everyone? It's Aaron back at the Winnie Lurgy Bring with JK video. Today we're going to be doing a, a, a video on my girlfriend's uh, 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sahara JKU. Uh, pretty much what we're going to be doing today is just trying to eliminate the annoying wind noise and whistle you get from uh, overhead 50 inch light bars. Um, I've done a little bit of research and the solution that I've seen that works the most is uh, taking some of the door edge trim uh, that I used on my Jeep's uh, front side of the door for when I take it off um, to put that onto the, the lower like four back fins of the light bar um, so it shouldn't be too long to do it should be maybe like a honestly like 10-15 minute install you just gotta remove the freedom panels and you um, just gotta you know put the stuff on and that's pretty much it so the only tool you're gonna really need is something to cut the trim each for when you need to go up to the next fin so I'm just using a pair of side cutters you can do scissors whatever you have uh, but yeah like I said it should be a pretty easy install let's just get right into it all right to remove the freedom panels you're gonna want to fold out your visors and put them to the sides and you want to undo the two latches above the center dash I'll just move this out of the way so you can see better you don't want to twist all four of these knobs and then there's gonna be two more knobs here in the back there's tons of videos on how to, you know, remove these, so I'm not going to go too in depth with it, but I'm just going to unscrew these and then we'll uh, take them off. Okay, and then once you have everything removed, you're going to want to take off the uh, left rear panel on the driver's side first and then the passenger side. And what I do is I just lift up from here, get my hand under, and pull off. And then same thing on the passenger side. So this next step is pretty simple. You just want to lay out your tape measure, the 50 inches, and then you're going to want to grab your roll of door trim and then just trim off to 50 inches. So I'm probably going to block the camera a little bit right here, but uh, measure roughly about because if you have more, you can always trim it. So about this much to where my finger is, is 50 inches. So we're just going to grab our side cutters and just trim that off and now I have roughly two pieces that are give or take 50 inches so let's go get this installed onto the light bar and we'll get this stuff on and see if it right, so like I said the last trip went on really easy when you start get to the end separate it a bit and stick it on If you're having trouble getting it to, to reopen, my device is pulled up at like a 90 degree angle and it makes it a lot easier for the, the seat to open. And you'll feel it when you, like, if you don't feel it, 
And if you like see, there's like a bunch of protrusions along this line. That means it's not actually going into the, it's not actually applying to the fin correct, the fin correctly. So just keep that in mind. Go to climb up here and finish the end. I'll just show you guys the end. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. So you guys can see my first one was very neat. My second one's a little less. This one was about an inch less. That's fine. It's not really a big deal. Um, but you know, if I really wanted to, I could add a little piece there. But it's fine like that. It's not really too noticeable and whatnot. So I'm probably gonna do one more strip and then I'll uh, close up the video. We'll go take a ride and uh, we'll see if it actually improved because I saw a lot of people were doing this and I actually like eliminated all the whistle and whatnot. So yeah, let me just finish that last strip and then we'll go for a ride. All right, so this is what the final product should look like. It should be the bottom three or four rows, however much you want to do i ended up as you guys can see i ended up cutting a few pieces and adding them in to those little gaps um i would actually measure about to like 51 inches because then you won't get this little empty spot um but yeah it should look like this the bottom four rows of the light bar i'm going to uh get all this mess cleaned up we're gonna go for a ride to see if it uh eliminated any light bar whistle and just so you know i'll link that uh the stripping I used down into the description. Um, it's actually a different brand than the one I used on my uh, my door. Um, but uh, this one, it, it was 18 feet, and I probably had I had about this much left, give, give or take another like two or three inches for what I needed to fix here. But uh, yeah, that seemed just perfect enough to do the bottom four rows. So I'm gonna clean up the mess. At least straighten the light bar out and uh we'll wrap up the video all right and then one thing i'll also mention as well is that it doesn't ruin the aesthetics of the light bar like if i lift it up you really can't tell you know especially if you look on the side as well like it looks like it was almost made like that you know if so i would actually try to get like a matte finish because i'll match like pretty perfectly with the light bar but like just looking at it like you can't even tell like that it's on there like if you go under if it's the side or if you go on top like you can't it's not really even noticeable anyway so i uh, just thought i'd point that out in case people were like oh it's gonna make the light bar look like shit so it doesn't it uh, leaves a pretty uh factory look to the light bar so you know whatever <laughs> drive after and my first impressions are that there still is a whistle um, if I stop talking for a second you'll hear it I just go really fast real quick it's definitely a lot quieter in here than it was before it didn't completely eliminate the whistle but there was kind of like a howl like I'll, I'll play the before video after and it was like super loud like now there's a little bit of a whistle but that howling sound that she got around like 45 plus miles per hour is gone and now all you hear is her tires and 
that little bit of a light bar whistle. Which isn't that bad, because the whistle, like, the whistle before was pretty, like, pretty ridiculous. Now it's, like, it's really, like, it's there and it's noticeable, but it's not a loud and obnoxious like it was before. So, like I said, I'll play the previous, uh, before video, and, uh, and yeah, um, I think I actually vertically reported that. I hope I didn't. I think I did, though. But yeah, the, the howling was is gone, so that's a plus because it was a really annoying howl that she got when think about going like 45 plus miles per hour. Now it's just a light bar whistle and the noise of her tires, which isn't that bad. So I say that's pretty decent, especially that I only paid $13 for those rubberized trim uh, pieces. So I think it's worth it, you know, eliminate some of the excess noise that can be very, really, really, really obnoxious. Um, so I think it, it works in some aspects, but it didn't completely eliminate the whistle. Um, so yeah. And it's like I said, it doesn't ruin the aesthetics of the light bar, if you, if you guys care about aesthetics. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Hope you all have enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see anything else, if you guys want to see a tour around her Jeep, let me know. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Jeep Wrangler JK videos on her Jeep, my Jeep, and I might have a few Patriot videos left, actually, I lied, I, I just, like, clean my computer, so I have some of those as well, so if you want to see those, comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.